The adherents of this version maintain that King Saul had a son, Yeremiah. Oh, yeah. King Saul had a son, Jeremiah. <coughs> All right, let's, let's go ahead and let's get cozy. I got my, got my robe on for this one, man. Welcome to Preston John. Installment number 106, man. I give this to you, man. I give this to you, Drop Nation. I give this vibe to you. I give this frequency to you. Hey, hey, out to the five tribe, man, for the great sounds. We have four through two herbs, man. Let's go. All right. We're in that thousand dollar book. I'm so grateful, man. Allah, Allah. Man, we got these ether packs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're still jamming up our website. So I couldn't get this off the website. So I had to go to the ether packs. And I said, one, that's what makes our website such a vital tool. And that's why they keep hijacking it. We're literally trans- transferring our servers as we speak. Man, we out of here, man. So uh, they keep jamming us up, man. Um, but these ether packs keep us. You know what I'm saying? LinkedIn, man. I got all the links, man. I got the books, the PDFs. Aqua Tracy. I have Aqua Tracy. Um, gave us so many great PDFs that we put on Press the Pack 2, the Loud And all y'all gave us so much drop, man. So, yeah, the Ether Packs is our way of giving back to you, consolidating all this information, all these PDFs and books and full length videos so that if the internet goes down on the internet. <laughs> You got the full length videos, you know, you can still surf the wave. Uh, you got PDFs and books to dig on, so you got the flash drives, man. So, hey, I pulled a lot of press the 106 off of the Ether Packs, man. We got the Ether Pack 2 in right now. We're gonna surf the wave in that. Let's go. So, yeah, Jeremiah is the son of Saul. Okay, keep this in mind. We also had a son. Who also had a son named Afghan. All right, this is where they get Afghanistan. All right, remember this? All right. Then we first touched on this in Preston 70, such and such, man. Uh, I'm a belly flop on some previous Preston Johns because we got some vital, vital information that we got to dig on in Preston, I think, 91. And we're going to dig on the last one. We're going to get the dismount in Preston 1, hope 5, because, you know, sometimes in them three hour drops, if you don't stick around to the dismount, you might miss uh, the sweetest part of the pie, man. So, a lot of while, let's go. Let's put this together. We in that Afghan flow a little bit. I want to talk about Arab or a rab or a rabbi. You know what I'm saying? The connection, the original connection with the a rab word as a Hebrew word, connecting to a rabbi. <laughs> Jeremiah, son of Saul, has a son, Afghan. Let's get that right. So, Afghan, Afghan is the grandson of King Shaul. Jeremiah died approximately at the same time as his father, Saul. Afghan secured a high position in the rule of King David. In case you missed it, this is the medieval empire of the Israelites by Robert. I said this, there you go. <clears throat> so, King David had a high position for Afghan, man. <laughs> so, when you read about Afghanistan, don't get no cognitive dissonance, man. Afghan is the son, grandson of King Saul the Benjamin. Man. So, that's what we're making this original connection. It's like they hijack all these titles, man. Even Arab is a hijack. An Arab is a rabbi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Afghan, Afghanistan. Afghan is the grandson of King Saul the Benjamin. Jeremiah is the son of Saul. So when, when Jeremiah and Jeremiah 30 prophesied about King David, do you see the connection? Do you see the connection? The connection. Jeremiah 30. Right. Popping off. Oh, I want to get back 
back on the song one ten two, man. Get, get that targum flow again. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring this over here. We had a beautiful reading of Second Edges, uh, chapter seven. Man, smoke and fire, dragon fire, coming out the Edges flow. Always beautiful to reconvene with the con. We had uh, Jeremiah thirty. Let's get it, man. go flow over to Jeremiah 30 because I want to make this Jeremiah 30 connection um, with this prophecy uh, it really matches up a uh, super heavyweight man look to the Akma Jigga man super heavyweight man <laughs> it matches up super heavyweight Josea 3 search for Hawa and Kandawi We're just thinking Jeremiah, you know, what's what's the story of Jeremiah, man? We really got to dig on it, right? It's a son of Hilkiah, of the priests that were in Ananoth in the land of Benjamin. Whoa. Okay. Let me do got a hard hit on the Benjamin flow. To whom the word of Hawah came in the days of Hosea, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. So they're connecting Jeremiah to Benjamin. Not saying nothing about King Saul, but they say he's the son of Hilkiah, of the priest. Hilkiah, the priest, that were in Anna and Anathar. Okay. And last time we dug on some of these title connections between this. Hilkiah's own connection. I'm just saying. Jeremiah to Benjamin. Let's read Jeremiah there. Chapter. Chapter 30, verse uh, 7. As for the day is great, so that none is like it. And it is a time of trouble unto change. But out of it shall be saved. Okay, we're talking about latter days, in the days, right? Revelation without the hijack. And it come, shall come to pass, and they says a while that I will break his yoke from off your neck, will burst your bags, right? And you will free nugget, free the nugget. Hijacks will no longer make you their slaves, right? Strangers will not make you their bondmen, but they shall serve the Creator. And David, their king, whom I will raise up at the end. So, David is being prophesied to be risen up by this son of a priest. a major connection, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, not only is Jeremiah prophesying, you know, uh, uh, Psalms 110 and, and the Targum is also talking about this time, very clearly, you know, the Christians like to spin it out of control, the Targum flow, we're going to get it, let's get it back in, matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to eat the pack, say it with me, eat, eat the pack, we got a lot of these uh, great tribe links up already. The cool thing about the ether pack is that uh, I make sure, man. Because you know, sometimes you might have the wrong pack. You might be like, "Damn, I wish I had ether pack one because it has the drop links one." I made sure I, I kept the drop links one on the ether pack two, so you're not just getting drop links two, you're getting drop links one because you never know which pack you might have on you, man. I just want to make sure it's convenient for the con as long as we had space to include it all. That helped me out a lot. Because, you know, not only am I taking all these maps, all this drop, 
get into videos, you know, you got either squad radio shows, bunch of uh, recod, pictures, screenshots, links, hundreds and hundreds of books, man. Right? So we was able to get all this out for thirty four dollars, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's what we can do. Um, you know, to push these flash drives out to you and your support helps us as well. So We'll put the time in and keep the the past going. I know my knock is, um, you deserve, man, having all this at your, you know, right there on your uh, keychain, man. Because I know you have these conversations in real time, and I know you want to get quick to the books and quick to the ways. Again, having the site down again, you know, really I was upset because I couldn't get some stuff. And then I said, yo, I'm tripping, eat their pack. And now we've been here, man. So we here, we here, huh? I want to look at this target and then I want to get back, get back on the floor. Okay, okay. So I'm belly flopping in the drop links. And love to uh, Aqua Tracy because, you know, she made PDFs of a lot of these because some of these links, because, you know, hijacks never play, man. They come in behind trying to erase a lot of these links. Um, you know, so if some don't work. Hopefully you get uh, the press to pack too because Tracy Lett got the PDFs of a lot of this stuff. That's what we'll start doing is making sure we got PDFs, not just the links because we can't depend on the links to be there, man, because again, the hijacks never play. But as you see, man, <laughs> all kind of great PDFs, man, popping up. They eat the bag. This is drop link number two. I just saw a Targo link right here, man. Where is that? Oh, yeah, you got some money. We're going to spend some time in the Eat the Past. I see a lot of stuff I've been slipping on and forgetting about. We got to apply. Here we go right here. Targum 110. See what I'm saying? You might have no internet, but you got Targum Psalms. Psalms 110. The Targum. Christians and the Christian lights in the back. <laughs> so you can see clearly, man. Let's go. Let's get it bigger. Gotta get it bigger so they can see clearly. Psalm 110, right? So if you just look in. Christian. Yes, 
just a ride the streets with JC. Yes, the Zion Church. That they don't Christianize all this time. They thought it's about JC. As if JC done went to one war. As if JC done had one battle for you. As if he's coming out, swinging and kicking, making enemies to foot. JC ain't never went to war. JC don't know nothing about no battle. Not according to that story. Unless you're talking about Zeus, I mean, hey, then, now you're talking about gods of war. Now, now we see clearly. So does it say the Lord said unto my Lord, said unto my right hand? So the Christian could factor in JC. And we say, no, this is Psalm of David. David, Psalm 18, is crying out to the Creator. The Creator come down, drag him for him, with smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth. Flying on the wings of the wind. Burning high jacks down. He's making David's enemies his footstool in real time. David goes to war for you. David fights the Canaanites in there, Moabites in there, the giants in there. David goes to war for you. It's no mystery about the King David flow. Hijack better back back. It's no mystery about the Moshe flow. Hijack better back back. Ain't no mystery about the Joshua flow. Hijack better back back. Just talk to Mel Keys up there. Mel King, that that priest. Praise King. Who is Preston Child? Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it funky. Who is Preston Child? The Lord said unto my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. What's it saying to Tarka, man? What's it saying to Tarka? What's it say? Talk about Psalms 1 2. Composed by David. The Lord said in his decree to make me. Wait, who composes? Composed by David. Right? So when we say me, we're talking about the composer, right? The Lord said in his decree. Hawah said in his decree. To make me Lord of all Israel. Make me. See, they, they had to take all this out because they, you can't fit in JC no more. Because JC didn't write this, he didn't compose it. When, when we read me, we know we're not reading about JC. This is a song, a song. Said in his decree to make me Lord and King of all Israel. But he said to me, Wait for Saul, Shaul, granddaddy of Afghan. Let's get back from Afghan. Let's go. We're talking about Benjamin. Jeremiah's from the tribe of Benjamin. This Jeremiah, grandson or son of uh, Saul. Put it together, so it's all we do. I'm not going to investigate. Don't, don't rush to no conclusion, just investigate. So, wait still for Saul of the tribe of Benjamin to die, for one reign must not encroach on another. And afterwards, I will make your enemies a prop for your feet. I mean, I'm going to read it again, then I'm going to go back to the hijack version. And just say, how much more? we missing, man. If this is coming out of Psalm 20, from the first verse, can you imagine what we do this? They're going to give us a lot of different versions of this, but it's all going to pretty much lead to the same conclusion. JC don't exist over here. No Christian life. Yeah, I saw uh, some of our Hebrew, Hebrew novels using this to try to explain you how it shines all we've been there. Psalms 110, look. The Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said them to my Lord, sit in my right hand. That's your hour shine, brother. 
I've heard it, man. I've heard the blasphemy. I've heard the false witness in on Dawi. False witness in on Hawa. It's a why I didn't say that. And David ain't nowhere to be found to you. You need to substitute your hour shot, right? Yes, right. Christ, right? We caught him slipping in 105. In Ezra, they tried to put a JC in there. All they said was, son of <laughs> anointed son. We had to show him who the anointed was in Psalms 89. God. We just read Jeremiah 30. Search for a while and David. But it's Jeremiah got to do with Afghanistan. Talking Afghanistan. I need to condition you with this Afghanistan so that they can. You know, put you in no spell of thinking about the Middle East, man. I'm talking about a person in Afghanistan, right? A person. Who's Afghan? Son of Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 30. <laughs> but they shall serve for a while. Right? How do you serve for a while? Exodus 20 got you in code. You listen. You play your role. You play your position. You be a good child. That's a role you gotta play. Or you could be a badass kid, and that's a role you gotta play. Now, your parent gotta play it out either way. If you're good, your parent play it out. If you bad, your parent gotta play that out. That's what's happening right now. Look at us, man. We still stiff neck, still worshiping your house shot. Jesus, right? Jesus is God, huh? The Creator is your house shot, huh? Blasphemy, man. Idolatry. We're going to connect this with the Muhammad flow. You know, because we got to get our people clear minded, man. Hijack free. When I talk about an Arab, I'm not talking about you no know, Muhammad in it. When I talk about an Arab, I'm talking about Arab proper. We're going to get some drop on the Arab proper. Is y'all surfing the wave, man? And <laughs> hey, we got the wheel, man. Let's go. They can't stop the drop. They can't stop the drop. Either man. Let's go. They shall serve a while by keeping the code. No idolatry. No power for your power. No Jesus is Lord. My Lord said to your Lord, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's not what it's saying. David will be raised up unto them, my God. We're talking about being free when the seed is free from captivity. And Jacob shall again, again be quiet. That means you in Shalom and at ease. You're in that Zion, Zion. Top of the soul. Your dragon rise and rise. And you say, your Savior? Isaiah 43, no Savior but me. Who's your Savior? I will save you, says the Creator. I will save you, says the Creator. You don't have no other Savior but the Creator, so you gotta be saved by serving the one. First and foremost, that's rule number one, that's step number one. Once you are in code, we can talk prostitute, you know, we can talk prostitute. We can search for that, we, because we're just talking about the future, man. Who I will raise up about. After you free from your captivity, ain't happy yet, folks. Jacob shall I give you quiet in that age? That definitely ain't happy yet. <laughs> and none should make him afraid. We're afraid of everything, folks. Full end of the nations. Wherever they have scattered my nagas. But I will not make a full end of my nagas. For I will correct you in measure. You're going to get that correction, boss. You're going to get that correction. I ain't going to destroy you, man. What you 
Thank you, man. I'm your daddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm up. I'm up. It's just that it hurt, man. It really hurt. The, the wound is grievous. The hurt is incurable. You hurt me by being out of code. But you're going to be back in code. And then you can search. And you can serve the cop. Back in code, you're serving Hawaii by default. But you have one ship. This is why we're searching. Take it very serious, our covenant. Because our covenant is forever. Forever I will establish your seed. Psalm 89, verse 5. The builder of your throne of all generations. Verse 4. I have made a covenant with my chosen. Who's that? I have sworn unto David my son. Got it. Jason, there is a descendant situation. So all that is in Psalms, and then we get to Psalms 110, and suddenly they think it's about JC. Suddenly, a Hebrew in love with Jesus want to take us here and talk about Jesus. Dad Church want to take us here to talk about Jesus. The Lord saith unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. The rod of your strength. A wild will send out of Zion. Uh, we just finished talking about how Hawaii is his strength. The rod of his strength. Didn't David just finish fighting a war with all these hijacks and Hawaii personally came and saved him? Made his enemies his footstool. Why take us to JC? When the Targum says very clearly, Hawaii said in his decree, Make me Lord of all Israel, but he said to me, Wait still for Shaul. Wait still for Shaul of the tribe of Benjamin to die. For one rain was not encroach on another, and afterwards I will make your enemies a prop for your feet. Another Targum translation says, Hawah spoke by his decree to give me the dominion. Dominion in exchange for sitting and study of Torah. So keep it the code. So Hawa spoke by his decree to give me the dominion in exchange for sitting and study of Torah. Wait at my right hand until I make your enemies a prop for your feet. Another verse says, Hawa said in his decree to appoint me ruler over Israel. But Hawa said to said to me, wait for Saul tribe of Benjamin to pass away from the world, and afterwards you will inherit the kingship, and I will make your enemies a prop for feet. Christian, y'all gotta stop it, man. My brothers, my brothers, yeah, I was shining it all. You better stop it, man. You bear false witness on the world. Why I said it to my Lord, who could that be? What did Hawaii say in his decree to make me Lord? Who speaking? David of all Israel. But wait for King Saul to die. That means he gotta be talking about King David, right? That's a body bag. There ain't no discussion after this. Because this ain't the translation they teach us, right? Hawaii was sent from Zion the rod of his strength, and you will rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people are those of the house of Israel. 
who devote themselves to the Torah, code keepers. You will be helped in the day of your making battle with them in the glories of holiness, the mercies of Allah will hasten to you like the descent of dew. Your offspring dwell securely, ain't that what it's about? children or offspring to dwell securely ain't that worth living for ain't that worth fighting for ain't that worth uniting for but you can't we can't unite in no Yahweh Shai Christ business we can't unite in no uh, Muhammad uh, their version of Arabic because that's not Arab proper we're about to be that's not Arab proper those tribes are not Arab a rabbi problem. You got to be from the loins of that Eber root. You got to be coming out the tribes. It's a tribal war, it's a frequency war. This A rabbi, these rabbis are coming out that jock time flow, out the loins of the Eber flow. We all got descendants that, you know, would connect. You know, even the Moabites would say, oh, wow, we got the Eber flow. <laughs> but look, man, the Arab proper flow, you know, stems from the foundations. It stems from the root. And it didn't include all these, you know what I'm saying, what they would call Arab pretenders. sacred, the bloodline, the claiming the bloodline by claiming the Arab flow, a rabbi, let's go, it's about the offspring dwelling safely, verse 4, Hawa has sworn and will not turn aside that you are appointed leader in the age to come because of the merit that you were a righteous king, oh man, do we? I don't know if we read this, uh, I don't know if we went this far to Targa. I think I've normally lost my mind around verse one, but this is another body bag for him. We out of here. Shout out to Five Tribe for the beautiful musical selections, man. My bro's popping off, man. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's not only body back to Jay Z, Jay Z flow, but it also gives clarity to this being a prophecy that King David will return <laughs> because he was, you know, already a righteous king. So he's appointed leader in the age to come. That's further clarity because some not be like nah. It's not David coming back. It's a descendant of David. Come on, man. But JC can come back. But David can't come back. But Elijah's coming back. <laughs> All these brothers coming back. But David can't come back. But the son of David can't come back. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Yep, this is body back. Enjoying it, you know, just taking this moment, taking a moment to enjoy it. It's gonna be a lot of body bags along the way for the illusion that is body bags for the illusion. The law has sworn and will not turn aside that you are appointed leader in the age to come. <laughs> so, Jeremiah, right? Who's Jeremiah? I'm talking about the son of Saul. I know it says son of him, kind. This was the son of Saul. Might change some things, especially with this half game. They had to switch it all up. They had to switch the whole board up. They had to change uh, all these place names and invent a Middle East 
invent in Egypt, invent all that stuff over there. They had to act like these religions were so ancient. I'm gonna read about some of that, man. We just pop it off. But a lot of them is just on a pagan flow. You know what I'm saying? They want you to feel like you're doing something ancient and as if ancient is automatically good. Ancient could be bad, right? You could be talking about Thoughty boy, you know, you could be talking about hijack, Atlantean hijack. Oh, but this is so ancient. Your antiquity don't prove nothing to me about righteousness. Your antiquity don't prove nothing to us about righteousness. I don't care how ancient you go back. That don't mean you're hijack free. You fail for a reason, Khan. Not just by happenstance. You fail for a reason. That kingdom failed. For a reason, what's the reason? Well, there's a prophecy that David will be raised up. You might read this and have cognitive, diff- cognitive dissonance and say, Yeah, right, drop. King David ain't gonna come back. He ain't being raised up. <laughs> then we get some more uh, substantiating validation in this Targum translation, Psalm 110, that we got from the Ether Pad number two. But no, the wall has sworn it will not turn aside that you are appointed leader in the age to come. I'm talking about Dawu. Because of the merit that you are a righteous king, the presence of the wall is at your right hand. This was never spoken of about JC, the presence of the Raiders at his right hand. He's talking about, oh God, why have you forsaken me? The presence of Hawaz at your right hand. He struck down kings on the day of his anger. He was appointed judge over the Gentiles. The earth is full of the bodies of the slain with him. Hawaz go to work for Dawi. Hawaz go to work for the righteous. He smote the heads of kings on the earth. Very many. He will receive instruction from the mouth of the prophet on the way. Because of this, he will lift up his head. This is a prophecy of the one who had to wait still for Saul of the tribe of Benjamin to die. Which can only be King David. It's composed by David. Ain't that amazing? Appointed leader in the age to come. I'm just talking latter days, right? <laughs> but they shall serve a while their power. And David the king whom I will raise up unto them. Seek the Creator most high over everything. And I we, David, their king, they shall come trembling into the wild. Sometime I not need to get some good humbling. Know what wave they surfing on. They don't see the Creator, they ain't gonna get no water. They don't seek that weed. They'll never find that fountain. But you gotta come humble, right? 
tremble. We gotta come in blue. We gotta it's like Jeremiah 30, keep the cold. To seek the creator, you gotta keep the cold. Exodus 20, gotta send cold. Hit the easy button, it's that simple. No cap, number two pitch. Then you can see David with clarity, right? And that 360 dragon fly. Then you get humble unto the creator, to the goodness of the Lord. In the end of days, man, again, the age to come. Appointed leader in the age to come. End of days. See Kawhi and King David. In the end of days, right? Age to come. come. I think that's amazing clarity, uh, validation, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Multiple witnesses. Talking Kondai we Digging on the Targum flow. Let's get it back. The Lord said to my Lord. <laughs> See how this just looks like it's uh, missing a lot of uh, substance, huh? See David clearly over here. Even though it is a song of David. But the Christian could slide in in this one. <laughs> they can't slide in to wait for Saul to die, right? And who's Saul anyway? right back on that David Rubini. This is going to tie in so beautifully. Don't you agree?
you said, let me just type in, type in the page number on this thing. in reverse but since I'm going this way I might as well stop at this uh, I think it's page 289 so I just surfed the wave man this is how we got this from man. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> we, we made it, man. All right, so it says the root of the word Arab is Ra, R-A-V. And the prefix A at the beginning of the Hebrew attributive term, the same as the Greek, although the transcription also has changed since up to the onset of the printing period, spelling was unrestricted everywhere. The word rabbi originates from the root rav, the biblical rule being, and many other ideas. And that's from Nikolai Morozov. Morozo, Morozo. <laughs> All right, now this is a very important point, and this God is really connecting this Arab, Arabic, Hebrew situation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The original Arab is coming out the same family tree as the Eberu, or specifically Eber. Specifically Eber. Because out of Eber comes Joktan, and these Arab propers are coming out the line of Joktan, or Yucatan, which puts us right back in Meshi, Mexico. All right? All right? Follow me now. The root of the word Arab is Rav, or Rob. They always put the V's with the modern Hebrew, but it would be Rob or Ba. The, the B would be the Ba, right? The Ra would be the the Resh in the Hebrew, which is like a, uh, let's see if I got my Hebrew chart. Oh, look, I always got my Hebrew chart, right? Well, they would be getting the Resh sound, head of a man, right? Head first, top, beginning. So you put that. That resh, which they're calling just ra, right? This is what they get. Look, they hijacked all this, right? Even the resh, even the ra, right? And you put that with the bot, with the B. So that's your a rob. <laughs> a rob. Bot, with the B is the family, a house. The A, don't forget. You know, you, you're going to need the I left. You're going to need the strong power leader to lead that head of a man right that top that beginning right that first knock right that head knock you know what i mean who has to do it for the family right has to have the floor plan for the family for the house has to protect the house the head of the house has to be led by the strong power the ah oh, this is your a rap you did <laughs> This is your A rod. Beginning at the beginning, the A at the beginning is a Hebrew attributive term 
the same as the Greek, although the transcription also changed. Okay, okay. Keep that in mind with the A, right? Let's keep going. Let's pick it up, pick it up, pick it up right here. So the adherents of this version maintain that King Shaul, right, we just got that Targum script, you know, wait for Saul to die for your reign. No two reigns should encroach on another. So he has a son called Jeremiah or Jeremiah. Now, whether it's the same prophet Jeremiah or not, you know, he would be a popular Jeremiah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he is connected to the court of King David. And it would make sense why he's prophesying on David. And even that Jeremiah there in the script is coming out this seed of Benjamin, man. So it's a lot of little, you know what I'm saying, connections here. You know, we got to dig further. So if he has a son, Afghan. Jeremiah died approximately at the same time as his father, Saul. Afghan secured a high position in the rule of King David. So he was in the court of the Preston. The David is the Preston. And remain at the royal court <laughs> during the rule of Solomon. Solomon. All right. And we go, we're still bringing this Daniel Kumisi for because Daniel would also be the brother of Solomon. Solomon. I know uh, Templar loves hearing about the Daniel flow. So we'll still keep that in, you know, rotation here. Man, it's a lot of these pieces coming together if you just, you know, <laughs> have that patience because patience is king, right? Patience is key. Okay, patience is key. All right. So 400 years later, during the troubles in Israel, the Afghan family resettled in the province of Gur, right? So you got the Gur Khans, the Gur Khans. We keep hearing about the Kur Khans, Kar Khans, Gur Khans. All right, all right. The Afghan family, remember, they are Benjamites. These are Benjamites, and we're not talking about the Middle East. We're talking about India Superior. Let's go. Wave servers only. Let's get it. They stayed here to live and went into trade with the arrival of Islam on these lands. Seven representatives of the Jews who lived in Gur, headed by the leader Kish, appealed to the prophet Muhammad. The prophet rewarded them, and the Jewish name Kish was changed by Muhammad to the name Arab al-Rashid. Arab al-Rashid received instructions to spread Islam among his people. So this is really where you're seeing this split happening. You know what I'm saying? Where it's going into this Islam flow when before you're just talking about Israel. <laughs> and now we're talking about Muhammad. Back to Hosea 3. With his idolatrous, right? In many days without a king. But what it does give us, very important, is it allows us to trace and track within this Muhammad flow into the tribe Arab al Rashid. And to know that every time we're coming across Arab al Rashid, we know we're talking about Benjamin. Birdman hand run, you know what I'm saying? So now we know we're talking about Benjamin. So we touched on a little bit of Arab Al Rashid. You know, I would like to do a whole study on Arab Al Rashid for real, for real. Um, because I know I'm just talking about Israel. I'm still talking about Benjamin, even if they are at this point uh doing uh Islam things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, they could be doing it to just save their family, you know, maybe it's 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 convert or die. People converted to Christianity, not because they hated the creator, but because they were scared. They were scared, you know, not because they didn't love their people, because they were scared. They didn't want their they family being, you know, massacred. So they say, okay, I'm a Catholic. Okay, I'm a, I'm a Muslim, Muhammad. Okay, because we know it was convert or die. Let's keep reading and keep the Arab al-Rashid in mind. Keep the Arab al-Rashid in mind. Remember, Arab 
All right, we're just talking about a rabbi. We're about to talk about Eric Proper again. Hold up. So the legend bears, as we see a strikingly pronounced religious character, it has been called upon to show the all triumphant strength of Islam. Indeed, it was worth having Muhammad's lesson in sight as the Jews immediately understood where the truth lay and bow to the prophet. That's what it was about, right? Bowing to the prophet, right? Not to the creator, to the prophet, right? Hijack city. Walking around your cube. Hijack city. Christians went in the hijack. Muslims went in the hijack. The Hebrew rules are supposed to be keeping the code. Exodus 20. Laws, statutes, the commandments of Hawaii. They hijacked it with the Judaisms and the Jew ishes, but you're supposed to be keeping the real thing. The original Arab, the Arab proper. If one does not take into account the religious slant, then before us is a truthful tale about how during the collapse of the empire, which is called the Troubles in Israel, Jacob's Troubles, a group of Israelites, Israelites ran off to the former imperial province of Gur. Here they settled down, supported by the former governor, general of the center, Kish. Remember, Kish is originally who? He's supposed to be their leader that really did the split. You know, he's supposed to be the one that really bowed down to Muhammad, you know. What I mean? And after that, his name is changed to Arab al Rashid. Now, we talked about the Kishes and the Kushes and the Cashes. It's a one letter rule, so, you know, keep that in mind the Kish, the Kush, the Cash. Yeah. Yeah. This cash flow is coming really out that ash flow, like Ashur, the Asher flow. The Asher flow and the Nimrod flow kind of go side by side and parallel each other. So, oh man, okay, okay. So, Kish, being an educated and experienced people, having money connections, becoming the actual rulers, in so as much as over time it became clear that the empire would not be restored in the religion which had predominated in two or in it, would not recover its lost position. What religion? We're talking about the code keepers. It was necessary to look for another ideological prop and distance itself from Judaism. And then they decided to lean upon the just-born Islam, right? <sighs> Pay attention, man. This is the play. So they hijacking, you know what I'm saying, anything that really has a connection to the original, like Judah. <laughs> but then they started leaning just on Islam. Right now it's just Islam, brother. Right? Muhammad gladly agreed to support them. There are grounds to suppose that in particular such success Successes became the motivation behind the appearance in the Quran of the Sora supporting the ambition of the Jews to return to their own lands. True, afterwards, it was necessary to replace mercy with anger. The local population, which hated the newcomer tax collectors, which not which not agreed, was not agreed to recognize anything at all that came from them. Therefore, other Suras arose just as God inspired, which called for the destruction of the Jews pronto and without mercy. They well, they knew well as early as the 18th century that the rulers of the various states which had been formed on the ruins of the empire belonged to the same caste. During the Great French Revolution, <clears throat> a crowd attempted to destroy the statues of the 28 Israel Israeli kings or Israelite king that adorned the cathedral of Northern Northern Dame of Paris. The statues were, yeah, why would they want to destroy anything but a Naga statue, man? The statues were located high up and it was difficult to hit them, but they destroyed them soundly. 
traditional history notably fails to explain why the revolutionaries did not like the biblical kings. Whoa. Yeah, we're not talking about Israeli kings. We're talking about the kings of Israel that were <laughs> displayed in Paris was destroyed. And they don't know why they didn't like the biblical kings. There is only the supposition that any mention of rulers and kings at all would make the people furious. So they tried to reach these statues. Oh, man. If one even agrees that revolutionary elements arouse in people by no means the best feelings, the artificiality of similar explanations is obvious. Most likely the crowd in those times still fully perceived Israel and the royal dynasty as a single whole. Israel was still the royal dynasty. This book costs a thousand dollars, man. We 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 we've been connecting you to the drop, man. The twenty eight is kings of Israel represented to them the predecessors of the overthrown monarchy. Let us return, however, to the Holy Blood and the Holy Grail. What has this got to do with the Presta? Because you know the Presta is the Grail. The symbol of the Grail is a symbol of authority and of traditions which are inherited by seed. <laughs> by seed. It is part and parcel of the legendary Presta John. The legend of whom was spread widely in the Middle Ages, right? So it's a legend. It suppressed a legend. Okay. <laughs> so what's the legend all about? It is part and parcel of the legendary Preston John, the legend of whom was spread widely in the Middle Ages. John was the master of huge empire. He was omnipotent and all-powerful. Kind of reminds me, hold up, man. That, that reminds me of something. That reminds me of Psalm 89. Right? When we talked about David, firstborn, verse 28, I also will appoint him firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth, forever will I keep for him my mercy, my covenant shall stand fast with him, his seed also will I make endure forever. His seed also will I make endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my ordinances, if they profane my statutes and keep not my commandments, then will I visit their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with strokes. But my mercy will I not break off from him who nor will I be false to my faithfulness, my covenant will I not profane. With who? Nor alter that which has gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness, surely I would not be false unto Dawi. His seed shall endure forever. His throne as the sun before me, it shall be established forever as the moon and be steadfast as a witness in the sky. A witness in the sky. That means forever. David's seed is forever. Why? <laughs> you know? Because I have made a covenant with my chosen David. You know, I've sworn unto David. Forever I will establish David's seed. This is why they had to hijack David. And this is, you know, whether they go Yahawashai or they go Muhammad and bow down to Muhammad and convert or die to Christ. All of them are hijacking Hawaii. 
But specifically, as far as the kings of the earth is concerned, the Rex Net Goose is concerned, Khan of Khans is concerned, I will appoint him firstborn, the highest, the highest, the highest of the kings of the whole earth. When you talk David, you're talking about an anointed kind with that holy oil, right? I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil. Have I anointed him, my naga, whom with my hand shall be established? I don't care about your hand. I don't care if you like Dawid. I don't care if I if you like who I send you to knock some sense in your head bone. I don't care if you like the messenger. My hand shall be established with them. The hand of the creator is the code. The code is established with the anointing, with that holy oil, with David, my servant David. Highest, <laughs> highest of the kings of the earth. John, remember John means king. We're talking about King David, John. And again, in this genie flow, we're about to be on that Rubini flow. Hold on, man. Just noticed, uh, just noticed they paused my music, man. <laughs> I've been popping off. Oh, man, hold up, man. They over there trying to hide. Let's go back, man. Shout out again to the fam, five. Tribe, man. Fire Tribe got the drop. The low fire drop. Fire Tribe got the drop, man. Go hit them up, man. You know, we're going we gonna to do this, man. We're going to dodge this hijack for the broke five. <laughs> dodge this advertisement, man. Let's get it, man. For the broke five, man. Let's get it back, man, for a stack, man. <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah we, we spiral up around here. It's, it's your choice, man. You spiral up or you spiral down. It may look the same, man. You may, you may be going through something, man. You may be going, you know, um, trying to accomplish something that might not be for you or might be for you. You, know, you, you might feel like you're spiraling up because, you know, man, you know we all been there before. You know what I'm saying? Man? You know, we, we might be chasing that job or chasing that dollar-dollar bill or, or something else, man. We, we think we're doing the right thing. We think we're spiraling up. We think we're standing on something. Man. It's all vanity. <laughs> and you realize, you know, <laughs> you're spiraling down. And there's a big dis. There's a big distance from you. You know, from those that are spiraling up. You know, and you're like, whoa. I need to. I need to get back on the way. And that distance could happen quick. You can catch up quick, you know, by making the right choices. So never feel too down. A few choices get you right back in the game, man. A few good choices for a few good days, you know. Even exercise, you're like, I ain't exercising in a minute, man. Just, just put a few good days and you're going to find yourself getting a new habit, you know, a healthy habit, right? So, con up, my life, spiral up, man. This is what we're here for. Preston John was the master of a huge empire, omnipotent and all-powerful king. King and Zars with him only subjects. Tracticus Polymer, Polymerus, calls John the king of kings. Rex Ray, king of kings. Highest of the kings of the earth. I will appoint him firstborn. Highest of the kings of the earth. Yeah, the same one I have found. With my holy oil have I anointed him with whom my hand shall be established. Highest firstborn. They replace David. They 
replace David, right? With the son of David. Ain't that something? They replace David with the son. Now you screaming about your house, son. Because they added in some new testaments. Isn't that right? Who's the king of kings? See, David is not just going to be the records of King David. The same David that the Targum just said is supposed to be coming back. And, you know, <laughs> he just got the drop on the age to come. Verse 4. A while has sworn and will not turn aside that you are appointed leader. Like we just read in Psalm 89. Appointed and anointed. In the age to come. Because you were a righteous king. So he was already king. Now he's appointed leader in the age to come. This is a reward for King David. And David needs a flock. A shepherd needs a flock. Ezekiel 37, right? One shepherd forever. A shepherd needs a flock. Whereas they will say a righteous shoot, a branch. That's you. It's not Jesus. It's not Yahweh Shai. The righteous branch is you, the flock of the one shepherd, David, who was appointed leader in the age to come because he was a righteous king. Come. And the recordation of David is in many, you know, uh, versions and texts. And many people got something to say about this great con of cons. It's in everybody's history. Pastor John, everybody's talking about Harvard's talking about him. Yale, Yale is talking about him. I'm talking high academia. Man. He's the king of kings. They scared of this kind to rise up, to be on cool, cool. He combines himself spiritual and secular authority. That means he got the tribe connected with Hawa and he got the tribe as firstborn, right? Because he's firstborn. Secular authority. And he can say about himself, that's the child by the wise grace, Lord of all lords, or king of all kings, who are only beneath heaven. I'm only beneath the most high or everything. Other than that, you can't even <laughs> walk a, walk a uh, you know, a half an inch in the pressed of shoes, you know. You can't even try to compete or compare with the king of kings. You can't turn this energy into another energy. Can't hide you. Can't hide you. <laughs> Only believe in God. From the rise of the sun to paradise on earth, which is another body man. The sun rises on the east. That means uh, it sets in paradise. And all the medieval sources, Preston John controls and holds back the tribes of the Gog and Magogs and controls the seen and unseen worlds. What does it mean? I thought I thought Jesus was doing all this. <laughs> you don't need Preston, right? Muhammad's doing this, right? Ain't Muhammad controlling the seen and the unseen worlds? Not the Preston's controlling the seen and the unseen worlds. Muhammad and the Preston can't both be doing this, man. Jesus, Yahweh Shai cannot be doing this if the Preston King David is doing this, man. Like I said, we'll get back on this. David, Dodi, Radon, King of Rabani, Dewey, Dodi or Dodecahedron, that Ether, that Memsos, Rabuni, Rabani. Just know that this David, again, is the husband of Hannah. And this David here, Jadaron, father of Exilarch David, Saul, Roger, Roger, Jadaron, is the same David, husband of Lady Hannah. Father of Hanan, Solomon, right? Or Presta John, another body bag. And we're talking about Davids. We're talking about Preston. 
this Presta has a husband, lady, and a father of another. And this Presta has a husband, lady, and a father of another. And all that. These are just different interpretations of the same thing. Except now they bring you into the new body. Others would say he's Jadaron, king of the alleys. Now they bring you into a whole nother version of history with this Bagman Tony Dynasty's Byzantine flow. Now you're in the kingdom of Georgia, king of Babylon flow. So my dad is all one thing the kingdom of Georgia, the kingdom of Babylon, Jerusalem, uh, Rabadi Gadi Mani, Radon, Radon, all these, the Raja Haraja Cholas, Jadaron, same people, same thing. Emperor Soli, Soli, my father, Solomon, Emperor Soli, Soli, Prester John. Point is that they call him David, right? Same person, they're just calling him David or Dewey, Dewey, or Dodecahedron. <laughs> now you see where the star of David, which is the Dodecahedron, is all full of it. Are you seeing it in this layer or that layer? This dimension or that dimension? That's, that six-pointed star, that Merkaba flow becomes or what? Yeah, man. Yeah, now we're in the Dodecahedron. Now we're having a conversation with the platonic signs. Platonic signs, right? Take on, take the one. Finds in himself secular and spiritual authority. He can say about himself, Preston John, by Hawaii's grace, Lord of all lords, who are only, who only are beneath heaven, from the rising of the sun to paradise on earth. In the medieval sources, Preston John controls and holds back the tribes of God to make up, controls the seen, controls the unseen. Peace, the penetration into his kingdom of lions, giants, and any other high tax, whether it's called imperial military, whatever they want to call it, he's you know, making sure you know, nobody penetrating, right? And if you hear some sources maintain that the King Xerxes, Alexander the Great, the Roman Emperor's Ogier, King of, De King of Denmark, and many others visited the kingdom of Preston John, and there they were accorded legitimization. They were not legitimate until they visited Preston John. They were not legitimate because they visited Preston John. Whoever they were in the world, they all know this is a swarthy man, an Ethiopian, Emperor de los Abyssinios. Mixed multitude, Abyssinian predates Ethiopia as a term or terminology. We're talking. Greek terms, of course. Juan means king, my child, right? So this is their sources of this power that they turn into the Vatican Pope situation. Now you gotta visit, the king's gotta visit the Pope to get legitimate legitimization. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back then they had to visit the press to get legit legitimization, all right? Legitimization. So you say it ten times, I dare you, man. <laughs> the kingdom of the Preston. All right, they turn that into Vatican City. But by definition, the Pope literally means Preston. So they just hijacked the, the Preston, man. They hijacked Preston. John's kingdom is named the Empire of the Great Khan. And mysterious and 
miraculous stories. That is the con father. So before he was hijacked with the Batu Khan gang is Khan flow, the bot is just the house, right? The bot, the B A T. The bot is just the bot. B E T, B A T, buy it, bet. It's just the house, it's the house. Is the bot. And they turn that into the Batty Khan. Vatican, right? So the Pope became the president, the Bat Khan, House of Khan, and the Khan Father became all the Father Pope, right? In the Vatican. Ruby, right. and early Islam was 
Cause that is love Got to do with the A-Rap Cause the A-Rap flow <sighs> Might have a biblical connection with the group Or It's connecting with this one baby Okay, before I uh, even pop off with this, I want to get the dismount, I'm gonna get a couple things, I'm gonna get the dismount, depress the 105, that's gonna lead us right into where we wanna go for the meat, uh, for the veggie meat. <laughs> the last time we got into that, uh, uh, kabob, 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 uh, got into the kabob flow, which is the eat Got me thinking about the Eber flow. It's the Eber flow connects with the Chocta flow. The Chocta flow is where they get in the air proper. Yeah, it's all the way. It's all connected. <laughs> the Kabar is the Kaver. It is the Eber. It is the Eber. The Eber is either the father or grandfather of Chocta or something like that. So blah, blah, blah. I need a refresher course from uh, <laughs> a young drive, man. I need to see what's happening with this evil flow with this job time record so we can bring back in this Arab flow and talk what's the difference between an Arab proper and an Arab pretender one more time. Right? And then connect this Eber with this Kabar. Because that's the same word. Eber, Heber, Kabar. They put the K in front of Kabar. It's still Eber. It's still Eber. <laughs> so connect the Eber. Go back to the jump jump. And that's what we're talking about. Get out to the brain. <laughs> Fire tribe for the beautiful melodies. And on that, let's belly flop in first. Uh, let's go to press the 91. I'm going to jump around this a little bit. And uh, get a dismount on 105 and get right back in that David Rubini. Uh, we got... So much more I want to get to, so you know, you know how we do. It's amazing to be on Presto 106 and not know if I can get everything in. You know what I'm saying? That's when I know, like, we popping off. You know, we on 106, and I don't even know if I can get everything in that I want to get in 106. So that's the water that just keeps flowing, man. A lot of water. All right, you know, get the drop. You got a whole playlist to choose, you know. How you want to belly flop? How you want to do you? I want to belly flop to the 13th minute around there. Ninth minute. Let's go to the ninth minute. I'm going to go from there. Talking about lost trust. Uh, let go. Are we looking on time? You know, that was just the intro, so. If you hear, it's because you're supposed to be here. You know, a lot of Nagas fall off after 20 minutes, man. But my Nagas know my intros are an hour and 20 minutes. I let go. Pop off a uh, young drop and press a 91. Arabs have to do with Israel. I know. On paper, you just said, oh, well, you just talking about the Ishmaelites and, and the tribes of Isaac and Jacob and all that, right? Yeah, but... They're using a lot of stuff and it changing too, man. I mean, I mean the air, the air for them, them you know, you still, know, still falls under the under, under this, this Afghan, Afghan flow. <laughs> <laughs> this this Afghan is, is the sun. <laughs> well, now I got, I'm just in Wikipedia putting in Afghan. I'm going to let it play. But everything I'm telling you, everything we say, we going, we going through a thousand dollar books to get this to you. <laughs> we went the long way, and we say, "Yo, this stuff is right here in Wikipedia." <laughs> so that lets you know we don't depend on Wikipedia first. You know what I'm saying? We we go the long route, and then we come back and be like, "Man, they they had to just put this here because I just had to find a thousand dollar book to tell me the same thing." What now? What they say? As confirmation, according to the Tanakh, King Saul Talut uh, was the son of Kish. 
Ah, we just read about Kish being uh, Arab uh, Al Rashi, right? Because Muhammad changed it. Kish is whoa, whoa! Look how this is. Look at the timeline. Muhammad changed Kish's name to Al Rashi. Ain't that what we got from the medieval empire of Israelite? Kish is Saul's dad. Kish is Saul's pops. Kish is the one that started popping off with the Islam flow with Muhammad in there. That's the stock that Saul's coming from, <laughs> which is why he ruled the way he ruled. And then the course correction was King David, the anointed, right? First born. So look how it's connected. A member of the tribe of Benjamin, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, got his Saul Mary Ah. Ahinoam, daughter of Ahimaiz, had four sons, two daughters. These were Jonathan, Abinadab, Malkushua, and Ishbashan. Saul's daughters were named Merab and Mikal. Pashtun, folklore, and some historians suggest that King Saul had five sons instead of four sons. So who's the fifth son? Who's number five? The fifth was Ermia or Jeremiah. And every time I see the name Ermias, man, I gotta say rest in power neighborhood Nipsey Hussle, whose name is Ermias, right? So Ermias, that's Jeremiah. So it's his his given name is Jeremiah, man. That's dope. The legend describes Malak Afghana as the son of Jeremiah, Ermia, and grandson of King Saul, Talu. This name is mentioned in the form of Abgan. Whoa. So Afghana. Afghana is mentioned in the form of Abgan. A-B-G-A-N. In the 3rd century CE by the Sasanians. S-A-S-S-A-N-I-A-N-S. We got it. This is all stuff we ain't dug on yet, right? So as, as, and as Avang. Avagana in the 6th century by Indian astronomer Vara Hamar Hira. <laughs> so all these different titles for the name King Saul. Or excuse me, for the name Afghana, who is the grandson of King Saul. So when you hear Afghan and Arab, all this is Hebrews and all this is happening in India Superior or America. All this is happening in America. <laughs> Crazy as it might sound, it's all happening right here in India Superior. Afghana is the tribe of Benjamin, man. All right. And this Arab, Arab, Arab I flow. Well, we talking Arab proper. <laughs> hey, drop, take the wheel. Or grandson of King Sawu. Chief of the army. Rocking with King Solomon and King David, man. So you know he's a code keeper. Mm. So the code is there. Now we're talking Middle East. Are we talking Asia? Let's go, boss. Let's talk Choctaw. Let's talk about it. Well, they also call Kata. Mm -hmm. Back it up. So knowing that Afghan is the son of Yeramahu, Jeremiah. Right, and then they say younger son of Eber, progenitor of 13 Arabic tribes. Here we go again with that Arabia business. But he's the son of the Hebrew Eber, and Eber is the Kavera. So, yeah, he's the son of Eber, and Eber is the Kavera. <laughs> Ping, pow. How do we know, boss? As I get back, as I get back. Remember this link from uh, 105? Oh, yeah, we popping off. We popping off. A loud wall. Got that wall. Eber is the Kaver, right? Receipts around here, boss. Receipts around here. And yeah, let's go. Okay. <sighs> Let 
we derived our word copper from Kuvera's name. Eventually, the Nagas extended their influence all over India. If you intuited that Afghan Tiber, who's Afghan? <laughs> son of Jeremiah, son of Saul. Afghan Khyber is the Hebrew Heber. And yes, Heber comes from the ancestor Heber. And yes, Heber, they put a K in front of it. They call it Kiver or Capri in Egyptian. We got to research that because that's just talking about the same Kavera or Eber. So when you read Capri in, about Capri in Egyptian, we're just talking Eber. When you're reading Kaferia, Kaberia, Capriac or Cyper, Cipri, Kipri, Capri, it's all Heber. Capernaum in the biblical Capernaum. It's all Hebrew. It's Kabar. So we read about Kabari, Kabara, and that's Arabic for Hebrew. Babu Kavara with a Q. Kavara they put on the maps. The fable Kavara looking for the seven cities of gold. Coronado searching <laughs> for Kavara. He's looking for the Hebrew. Eber. Is it making sense? The Afghan, Kyber, or in Star Wars, the Kyber crystal makes the lightsaber, right? Is the Hebrew crystal, is the Eber, is the Kavari, Kavari. And that's what we keep seeing on the maps, Kavari. We got some maps I'm going to pull up with the Adion in a minute. We're going to get back on this Kabar because I'm going right into David Rubini. But Kabar is Kaberi. Kaberi is the Hebrew Eber. Let's go back. Receipts, my naga. We done put that work in, my naga. Drop Nation is on cool, my naga. Kavera, Kivera, Keeper is the Hebrew, is the Hebrew, man. Antioch, we'll talk Antioch. It's the best job. It's something number 91. Yeah, we yeah man. Shabbat 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 Come on, man. Y'all really, really, y'all really, really, really great time. comments. My dog, like Ma said, keep, keep pushing, man. man. Yeah. Hit, press, press the 100 on the head, bro. My jigger. So we ain't gonna stop, we gonna keep, keep pushing. pushing. Hit, press, press the 100 on the head, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Call me Hano. All right, so Jock Todd, who is one of the sons of Eber, along with Peleg, right? Peleg, and Dace, Peleg, and Earth's divided. Cataclysm's popping up. And Atlantis is sinking with Pelix popping up, right? right? Young son of Eber, progenitor of 13 Arab tribes, he's the son of Eber. Let's go. Whoa. Many of which as as uh, Mavet, Sheba, or Sheba, Ophir, and Avala, Avila, or Awa. Have been, have been identified, identified the name seems, seems to mean the younger or the small or he who humbles himself. Okay. Now we've been talking Ophir, right? We've been talking Philippines, City of Gold, but Ophir is a person. Right. Ophir is also a land, but it's also a person like a lot of this stuff. The name seems to mean the younger or the smaller he who humbles himself. And for his humility, Joktan was re rewarded by being made the ancestor of 13 tribes. The place of settlement of Joktan's descendants is given as from Mesha or Meshika or Meshiko. Talk to Joktan. Keep it in mind. Go as thou goest unto Safar, mountain of the east. Where is the east? Right, so 
Don't, don't be, be thinking Middle East. East. Stay, Stay right, right here, here home. Cause we're just talking Messi, Messi, Mashika. We're just talking Jock Talk or Yock Talk or, or the Yucatan. Yucatan. So if so we're talking Yucatan, we're talking, Yucatan, Yucatan, we're talking Messi, <laughs> Messi, go. You see, you see exactly, exactly where we go. go. Bang. And where they go, go. there they go. The district indicated is in, in Arabia. Arabia. Where's Arabia? We know, we know where Asia is at. But Targon, Pseudo Jonathan, identifies that it was Safari. So this is Safari, but also the Safari. Shalom, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Safari Jews and all this whole bloodline, but the Safari is also, you know, connected with. You know, this area, Meshi, Meshi, you know, connected with all this. So, Josephus, the servant of the dwelling, was from Kofa, C O B A T N, an Indian river, and part of Asia. But where's Asia? Where's Pottery? All right. Cafe, Florida. Cafe, Asia, Florida. Pottery, Paradise. He's talking America, right? So many, so many cartographers got to China. China. <laughs> you come you coming out, out of South America, America Peru. Peru. You go, you go over Paris, Paris, Paris <laughs> into, China. into China. Or Cafe. Or Cafe. Or, what, Florida, or Florida will be right here right. still, right? So, so what does Florida, Florida got to do with China, China, man? I mean, it's, it's on the, on the maps, maps, right? 1561, Carter Marie. 1620, Alan Carter, they didn't have a car. Planet, Planet Spiro, Spiro de Rossi, 1508. Again, again South, South America, America going, going right into Asia, Indian Spirit. So, so do, do not, not let these people trick, trick you, you, fool you, fool you. you. Nowhere, nowhere, man, because, because you're right, right here at home. In Arabic, Arabic literature, talk talk, Arabic, Arabic literature means, means the name Kata. We've been talking, talking about, about the Kaz. Right, we're getting, getting close to Kata. Let's go. Genesis 10, 10 Joe Kong is described. Remember, there ain't no J. All right, so you got Yucatan, or you got the Katan, Yucatan, Katan, Ka. As the, As the ancestor, ancestor of several South, South Arabian tribes. tribes. He's, He's the ancestor, ancestor of Eber. Well, let's, let's go. go. Mm. In accordance with this statement, statement Arab genealogists hold Katan to be the first king, king of Yemen. Yemen. Whoa. <laughs> so the first king of Yemen is literally the son of Eber, the Eberu, right? The progenitor of several South Arabian tribes is a Hebrew, son of Eber, God, which is where they're getting the Hebrew title from Eber. Also, those that are crossing, right, the Eberu. But it's coming directly out the loins of Eber, my not. Now pay attention, man, because it's about to go up. Like I said, <laughs> hold on to your boot bones, man. We're about to spice things up around here. Let's go. Whoa, so just, just like we got that Afghan in Afghanistan is coming from the loins of Jeremiah and King Saul, connected with King Dawi. Joktan, son of Eber, is connected to all these Arabic, you know, progenitor of all these Arabic nations, just like Afghan. But these Arabic nations wasn't just popping off on some walking around the queue, Muhammad and yada yada. They were connected directly with the tribes of Israel. Titles, man. Now, in accordance with this statement, Arab genealogists hold Katan to be the first king of Yemen and his son and successor, Yarub, the first person who spoke Arabic. First person speaking Arabic that they, you know, claim so much, these other nations, right? <laughs> but the first person speaking Arabic, they're saying, they're saying, his granddaddy is Jaktan. <laughs> Son of Eber, man. This is but the legendary form 
of the tradition at the time was the progenitor of the Southern Arabs or Arab proper, mm-hmm. while the Ishmael Arabs were originally of non-Arab stock. Whoa. Whoa. Get pressed to John 91. I'm going to keep going. I got a lot to get. And I go in, and there's a lot more I was going to share off of this. But really, man, I'm going to keep going. But just put this together, man. All right? Because we could read it right here. It's right out the Jewish Encyclopedia. So there's a difference with uh, Arab proper and the Ishmaelite Arabs who were originally of non-Arab stock. So non-Arab stock is not Arab proper. If they're coming out the Ishmaelite flow or these other confederacy flows with the Arabic, they most likely are of non-Arab, a rabbi (laughs) stock. Because this is all Hebrew root words, you know, the Ra, right? The head of the house. They weren't originally heads of the house they had to usurp the title arab they had to usurp they had to hijack the head when you became the tail they are pretending to be arabs they adopted arab customs and intermarried with genuine arabs which means they stole your daughters they stole your wives they stole your sisters they intermarried now they got feminine energy <laughs> Now they got a matriarchy because that mother, that daughter is coming from genuine Arab stock. It's coming from Arab proper. So they're putting the bloodline through her now, not by design, but because they intermarry with genuine Arabs being therefore called Mustarab, Mustarabs and Mustarabs, Mustarabs. Another son of Katan who was called Gur or Jer Hum or what they'll call it later, Jer Ka, Jer Hum, Jer Khan, Jer Hum. Remember the, uh, uh, this uh, city of Gur with the G-U-R, you know what I mean, all connected. Another son of Katan immigrated to Northwest Arabia, founded a kingdom in Hajaz. So Jaktan's children were popping off. And these were the original, what they call South Arabian tribes, or uh, what they said up here. Qatar was the progenitor of the Southern Arabs or Arab proper. So the Southern Arabs are Arab proper, the Southern Arabs. But then they popped off Northwest Arabia, founded Hajiz, H I J A Z. This tradition was probably invented at a later time. This Hajj business, right? (laughs) And remember, it was Kish, right, that popped off this agreement with Muhammad and got his name changed to Al uh, uh, Arab uh, Arab Al Rashi, right? Okay, okay, okay. And Kish is the father of Saul. Okay, got that, got that. We just seen how. This Islam flow is very closely interchangeable. We're seeing some of the creases now that we can kind of say, okay, this is when it creased this way, creased that way. Saul's dad, Saul's dad is who bent that crease and bent that knee and bowed down to Muhammad. All right, letting that in that way. (laughs) But the original Arab stock, Arab proper is coming out, the Eber Jatan flow. And the Arab propers are coming out of his heritage and all of them are still you know connected with the Eber Jatan you know saying uh code keeping proper rabbi or you know what I'm saying just priestly flow because they're coming out of Eber man all right let's go and get the drop man <laughs> press the 91 let's belly flop in um the last installment Press the 105 for my Nagas keeping it live because we got some beautiful drive for the dismount. <laughs> hey, hop to the cons. Let's get this uh, last few minutes, man. Let's go. 
Would it be the same deified Phoenician night? <laughs> Found on our ether packs. Ether pack. Our ether pack. Would it be the same deified? <laughs> Not over here, boss. But over here, boss. Body bag. Yeah, <laughs> for the dismount, body bag for the illusion. The Kyber, the Cavetta, got the gold, the Cavetta, the Cavetta, got the gold, the Cavetta, the Ibera. In North America, in India, Superior got the golden who's his deified Phoenician knot. Would it be the same deified Naga? You know? Found in the British Museum. Would it be the same deified Phoenician Naga? Found on our ether packs, <laughs> our ether pack tubes. Shout out to my nagas. Let's go to the maps, man. Could this be the same naga that's being deified? Like uh, Sheba was deified into these other powers. They, they, you know, took the essence of real kings and queens and turn them into hijack energies like Shiva. But we're just talking about our queen, our mama, Shiva. Let's get it from here. Khan. <laughs> Khan. You can't wait over here looking for it for a reason, Khan. Looking for that gold. Looking for the gold. Because it's abounding in gold. This Phoenician Naga got the drop. Who's the Phoenician Naga that they <laughs> are saying became deified in the Hindu religion? Research the Hindu, David. Research the Hindu, David. The biblical Capernaum, so the story of the Bible's popping off right here in North America, India Superior. The Arabic Gabon, this Middle East flow is happening with the Arab proper, which is right here in India Superior. Gabon. Egyptian Capri is happening right here in India Superior. We're just talking about the Hebrew Eber, which they're calling Kiver with a Q. Right? Caveri, Francisco de Coronado, search for the word fabled, mythical, <laughs> cities of gold. Search for fabled Cavera, Cavera. Somehow linked. Are, are they somehow linked? You've intuited correctly, boss. And it goes into some real high power drop. For high power not if it's connecting the drop. You got the links. Is it mystical? Or is this Indus all about India superior? Hebrew. The Hebrew. Heber. 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 Attention, let's get it for the dismount. And let's see what this uh, grand pass is all about. This book by this book by Jane D. Madlock, right? From Kyber Kiba to Grand Covera. 
New Mexico. New Mexico, Baba Cavetta, Arizona. I don't We're talking Cavetta. We're talking Eber. We're talking Eber. We're talking Cavetta. <laughs> we're talking Eber. We're talking the Hebrew. Eber, which is the Habar, or Habor. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they will be, right? How do we get here again? Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Let's get it. Man, this takes 50 pages. We can still on the first page. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, we got, got the foundation we built it, man. Ain't no time. All in the way. Remember, this black ass King Charles is right in the middle of all this, man. Wow. So, according to modern experts, David Rubini claimed descendant. From the biblical tribe of Reuben, made eyes by his choice of name, or was he king of Rubai God mine? Right. Uh, as well as a brotherhood with David, the David King Shlomo of Kabar. And this Kabar is also Kiber, my naga. Is also Habar or Heber, because David's own story calls it Tabar. <laughs> Rather than come on. And they just said Habar is Kabar, right? Is with a Q, Kibir, Kabar, or Kabir, <laughs> which is what we're seeing right here on the David Rumsey man. And this has been the 105th installment. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is 106 now, but 1 plus 6 is 7, so I'm going to treat it like Preston John, a number 7, man. <laughs> That's how fresh we are right now. We're going to treat this like Preston John, number 7. We're going to jump right back in to the Rabini flow. Right back into Rabini. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> So again, again, they're talking about the Jewish kingdom of Kabar. Kabar is still Kavera. Kavera is still the fabled cities of gold, right? Right here in Eber. Right here with Kavera on the maps and all that, right? Okay, we're going to get it from here. Again, in the Western Arab Peninsula, what's Arab, hey, Rabbi, okay, <laughs> Hebrew, a Rab, who's Afghan, son of Jeremiah, who's the Arab propers, talking Choctaw, talking Eber, which means we're talking Kaver, which means we're talking Kyber, because Kyber is Eber. And Eber's son is Jokta. <laughs> you see how this goes? Kyber's Eber, Eber's son is Jokta. And Jokta is the progenitor of the Arab. So when you see Arab, think Jokta, think Eber, think Kyber, think Kavera. This is original thought. We're having it here in Drop Nation. We're not getting this out of no one's classroom. <laughs> We've been, you know, self generating our drop from day one. You know, the water. The mem sauce flows through all of us, Managa. And this is why it's coming, you know, crystal clear, pure water. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go. Let's go. Allahu Akbar. 